name is Bumi Lux and if it's your first time seeing this beautiful place, where have you been? Welcome to my channel and if not, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a sort of a fusion of like a Fulani boho braids, boho braids in this beautiful auburn, dark auburn colour which Hot Braids has been kind enough to send me. Alongside their lovely package, they've also sent me this container with you know the essentials you need to do your hair such as like a brush comb and some hair clips in the package yeah so this is going to be a beautiful collaboration with hot braids and i'm so curious to see what this hairstyle turns out to be because in my head i wanted to do fulani boho braids but then you know what i've done the flip over fulani braids before it's here and i don't know if it's just me but it kind of looks like you know the avatar with the v in the middle and you know what i'm not even feeling that right now <laughs> i don't know it just popped in my head when i had the, had that hairstyle especially with my um thumbnail on my previous video like with me bent down and the v there um yeah it's not quite my vibe today so that's not what i'm going to be doing so instead i'm just doing kind of something different i hope it turns out you know beautiful i hope it turns out right and i hope this color suits me so yeah um the previous night i've gone ahead and washed the hair and put some olaplex bond conditioner on it as well just because i know when um human hair has been chemically treated it needs some sort of like conditioning and extra treatment before you use it so that you know once you've put the boho braids in it's not you know matted and dry and looking lackluster and it's a lot easier to make as well so yeah I've gone ahead and done that last night and it's still a bit damp but it should be fine to use today and then next I'm going to be showing you the expression hair colors I'm going to be using for the actual braiding and um, base for my boho braids so yeah let's begin so usually I'd go into the hair shop to find the braiding hair extensions that would be a suitable match for the human curly hair. Sometimes I'll take the coloured human curly hair with me as well. I hadn't received the hair yet from Hot Braids but I had an idea of what colours I'll be mixing but I just needed to see it in person. Going into the shops I was thinking I was going to be using a 340, 350 or maybe a different mix but immediately I saw 35. I knew that would be a good match but because I'm extra I felt like it needed you know some dark burgundy or purple brown highlights in the mix so that's how I ended up choosing the two colors 99J and 35. So next I go ahead to cut the extensions into three to achieve braids of around 24 inches or more including the boho curls at the ends. I probably could have cut it into even four for a shorter length I don't know what's wrong with me I won't lie because for everyday use I prefer I kind of prefer having shorter hair but I don't know I just seem to keep on really doing these um, really long hairstyles so yeah it's not hard all you just want to do is turn the hair up and over into three and then cut it into three instead of half so yeah I then start blending the two different colors in a two to one ratio so you want to do a double amount of 35 to the 99j because I just wanted the darker colors to kind of like just peek through where 35 will be the more dominant color if you've not blended expression hair before all you want to do is just place one bundle or color on top of the other to start with and then you just keep on pulling apart from the middle and placing the other um, bundle on top and then you just keep on pulling apart to you kind of get that blend you want some people stop and you know want that staccatoed that's not where that's a music term but some people just want that um harsh bl uh, blend where i always want like a really seamless blend so what i then do is i just brush the extensions to make sure there are no tangles in between the hair pulls you probably just don't want to wait all the way to the end you want to do it like after a couple of hair pulls you just want to brush it and um, you would notice if you're using like black hair extensions it's you know it doesn't tangle as much but yeah at this point I'm feeling very proud of my discovery mixing these colors because you can see the difference it's really subtle especially in daylight you can tell 35 looked really really orange compared to you know mixing the 99j and another thing I've started doing is putting hairspray on the braiding hair extensions before I then um, blow dry it using a comb or brush attachment just to smooth out the expression braiding hair and I find that when I do this I don't actually need to put the hair in hot water after because I don't know where that started from you know putting um, the human curly hair in hot water after 
So as well as making sure to properly wash, deep condition and treat your hair before doing a long term hairstyle like boho braids, you want to use like some sort of treatment like this redken anti-snap treatment on your ends before you start just to ensure your hair is protected in any kind of hairstyle you do. Okay, so if you watch, you know, a couple of my previous videos, you know that I don't usually pre-part my hair, but I just decided, you know, I've got a three-way mirror. I want to kind of like be sitting down throughout the entire um, time of me doing my hair instead of me standing. So I decided to pre-part my hair using, you know, my three-way mirror and um, at least for the rows or the, for the braids at the back before I start doing the cameras at the front. And I think, you know, this was actually a lot more easier for me because usually I'll be standing throughout doing my hair and because I hang the three-way mirror on top of a door so I'll just be standing and doing my hair all the way through especially doing the braids and everything but um, pre-parting it this way took a lot of the hassle out of the way in the beginning I'm not sure if I'll be doing this regularly or you know you know sometimes when you've braided your hair over and over and over again you kind of you kind of get used to where the parts are on your head so maybe that's the thing. I don't do um, braids Let's enough see. for me to just know where things are. Mm -hmm. And especially using a three-way uh, mirror. So yeah, as you can see, this is what my hair looks like pre-parted for the braids in the back. So I'm going to be doing boho braids at the back and then Fulani hair rows on the sides, on both sides. Because I don't know if I put a picture at the beginning. I, I probably would um, insert, you know, the idea of what I was going for. So I'm just going to be doing side cam rows or full any braids on both sides and then putting boho braids in the middle and instead of just using um, gummy wax which I find just I mean it looks good you know for the first couple of days or for the first week but it I don't know it just I don't think it's good long term to just use gummy wax so I'm using a, a combination of gummy wax and blue magic to braid my hair down a really good tip for doing feed-ins is that you want the hair you're feeding in to be the same size or smaller to the hair strands you want to lay the expression braiding hair over. So all you want to do is just make sure, you know, as much as you can see, especially at the front, just make sure the part is as, you know, crisp as you can make it. Put, you know, your hair grease, which is what I decided to do. Some people use gummy wax on their scalps. I don't really like doing that I actually prefer putting grease on my scalp and then just some of the gummy wax at the roots of my hair so I do that then make sure my hair is detangled like extremely detangled then I start braiding and feeding in the expression braiding hair so yeah I start off and um, braiding taking a really tiny piece at the front I braid that into three and I do that um, braid over two times then I start feeding little little like really little pieces little by little into the hair and then that's how I feed it in so yeah so just like that I um, I part off just a really tiny piece at the beginning and that's the what that's what I do into you know the three braids and then I start feeding in the expression braid in here after that little by little and then on the ends I go in to feed in the boho curly pieces as you will see anyway so yeah at the ends I just start feeding in the boho curly pieces little by little I mean maybe I should have made up my mind from the beginning and knowing that I was going to put in you know seven to eight pieces but for the side part cameras that I've done on both sides I've just uh, I just fed in like maybe like three to four of the boho curly pieces when I could actually have you know fed in more so yeah you can just watch what I do here which is exactly what I do on both sides one day you and I will be talking about this woman in front of the Senate hearing God help us the right approach Hey, I'm right here talking to you. Honestly, this is how the FBI does things coming through the invitation list. This guy did an RSVP. I've seen the man. If he shows up tonight, we're going to have any hope of identifying him. You need to put me in that room. So you want to go to the party? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Come back. Thank 
watches over the land. He hates men and God's us of all. You are known. Mira Malik. You look like the CIA. Oh yeah, what's the CIA look like? Attractive but treacherous. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> this is going to be a gas. <laughs> So that's what the Fulani, you know, braids look on both sides currently at the moment. I didn't feel like doing any twisty or curved designs. I know I can do it, but it would just take me a lot, a lot longer just to, you know, achieve that perfect look I'm trying to achieve if I had included some twisty or curved designs or like, you know, the snake designs. So I just did them straight down with the boho ends, the boho ends on both sides. Um, also, this style is kind of mirroring or kind of, it's an inspo. I've taken, like, my inspo has come from, like, you know, the t early 2000s faux shave sides that everyone used to do. Or, like, that faux, faux side cut look that everyone used to do. Even the white girls did it as well. <laughs> um, I think, you know, I, maybe I'll put these pictures in. But I think, you know, Shakira did it. Tereji P. Henson. Um, maybe Ciara, Ciara, Alicia Keys. Like, a lot of them were doing it then. So, yeah, that's the kind of look... I was going for with these boho braids so yeah at the back also um yeah I was just using a couple different products I had I found I figured my hair at the back was a bit dry I needed some moisture so which is why I was using mousse to braid it down and here at the back for the boho braids I've only put the boho curls at the ends you know a lot of people just say you know especially if you've worn curly hair enough even in the, you know like a wig form or weave form you tend to notice it's the back of the hair that gets matted really f um, fast just because of you know friction um, from your clothes from like when you're on your bed or whatever whatever so I've not put boho curls 
on any of the braids at the back at the um, nape of my head but I've just put on the ends but I don't know when it went when it came on to the row above the actually um the last row at the back and then so I put like six to seven boho curls for all of them yeah so this is just you know me braid in the back feeding it in yeah as you can see just put in the boho curls at the ends yeah and that's it it looks easy <laughs> I mean, I've actually sped up this video, so I'm actually not braiding as fast as this. I don't know. I wish I could braid faster, but I think what it is, what actually is the problem is I've got a big head and I, my hair is actually really full because I did someone's hair recently and it took me like not even four hours. And I was like, you know what? This is actually it because I noticed some people, you know, putting videos up on social media and saying, oh, I finished this hair you wouldn't see, you know, 9 a.m., 9.15, 9.30. And I'm always like, oh my God, I wish. But you know what it actually, what actually is, is if you've got a really big head <laughs> and your hair is full, there's no way you're going to be doing your hair in three to four hours. Like, just for me to part my hair alone, like to see the middle, even using a three-way mirror, that just took me, that, that, that took me almost like an hour and a half. Like, <laughs> doing my hair is it's like a whole two-day kind of thing. Like, I know we're not yet at the end of the video, but I started doing my hair like 9am on Saturday. And by 11, I still hadn't even done the front portion of the boho braids. Like, it literally takes me forever to do my hair. So I started at 9am, trying to set up for filming, trying to put all the cameras in place, trying to do my TikToks, trying to do like the short form videos. Then I pre-parted my hair. Oh yeah, and I, ha I also had to like pre-part and pre-pull the um, expression braid in here and do the custom blend so that took a bit of time as well maybe I could have done that the night before but I, I thought in my head like I'd prepared adequately enough because the night before I'd washed my hair deep conditioned it treated it trimmed it blow dried it so I thought like I'd prepared enough for Saturday and I woke up early enough started at 9 a.m and I still didn't finish my head till 6am the next day and I still had to go to church and I was really tired so basically I hadn't even slept in you know in 24 hours which was exhausting so I was just I was just moving like a zombie <laughs> you know when you say zombie how do you put out zombie properly anyway I'm rambling off so yeah this is just me <laughs> braiding the back of my hair um I don't even <laughs> okay is targeting a large cross sections of the population. You don't get a more random sample than a jury pool. So, Barnes wants to kill different types of people. I don't know. Is it possible these aren't just attacks? Could Barnes be conducting some kind of demonstration or experiment? Did you kill him? A word? You're on duty, correct? Are you carrying your badge? Of course. Why? Because it's protocol. And would you care to explain why you would surrender your firearm to a suspect in the middle of a hostage situation? It was a judgment call. Barnes was going to kill that officer. I realize you're new with this agent, Keen, but some rules don't have exceptions. And giving up your weapon, that happens to be top of the list. I'm fully aware of our field regulations. And since you willfully ignore them, your actions will be subject to a formal review. What does that mean? It means that an administrative panel will decide whether or not you're sanctioned. See where we go from there. Mind telling me what the hell that was? If you're asking whether I reported you, the answer is yes. Why would you do that? Look, Keen, I like you. I respect you. But that moment back there with Barnes showed me that you're unqualified to be in the field. So you would have taken a shot, is that it? It's easy to make the tough call. So yeah, this is what it looks like, you know, putting in six to seven to eight pieces of curly bo boho braid in here through the length of the braids just to give it that full boho look. I mean, in my head, that's this is exactly what I wanted, you know, and I, it actually looks really good. So yeah, I just continued on with the brick parting, especially since I'd pre-parted all the rows and yeah, I just did the brick parting over and over. 
when I got to like maybe the third row I noticed like some of the boxes were a bit too big which is why I started um I, I deviated from the brick parting a bit on one of the rows so for the front portion I just split what was left into four rows because I figured if I did it you know the round method with how you know how people prepart their hair I probably wouldn't you know be able to flip it over up and over um easily so I just split into four rows and then I also realized that the hair would be really long and I'll probably need to cut some layers in the front with how I've already you know cut the expression braiding hair into three so I decided to cut the one I'd cut into three into two in half and then I teased and pulled the ends and that's what I've used for the front, you know, the front two middle rows of braids. So yeah, I just cut that into two, you know, pre-pulled it. Is it pre-pulled it? I, I pulled it, feathered it, you know, so you don't have those blunt ends. And then this is what I've used for the middle, the middle of my braids, the middle two rows. So, I, you know, I've got shorter braids. And if I'd actually thought about this earlier, I probably could have done this for the entire middle you know boho braids so that bit is you know it's a lot shorter because I remember I used to do this back in the day like if you've actually learned braiding from like a braiding school which I never did but <laughs> I just used to oversee like when someone was braiding my hair and they've probably and they had like an apprentice and the person was learning so what they used to do back then was you would cut your braids into four for the back into three for the middle and into four again for the front which I don't know where it changed and everyone just used to you know cut the braids in two and the entire head would you be braided and and the entire head would be you know com um, would, ju would just consist of you braiding you know two uh, expression hair you know cut into two I don't know where that changed or you know <laughs> where people stopped doing that but when I knew like when people used to braid back in the day you would cut the expression braiding hair into four, three, and three in you know into those sections, and then the back would be shorter, the middle would be long, and the top would be short. So you don't really have you never you never really had to cut layers, and that's how they used to do it. So yeah, you just pre-pull, you feather the extensions, you brush it out, and then there you have it. You've got expression braiding hair of adequate length for the middle, where you don't you know now need to layer or cut. The hair in the front and then you've got like some shorter pieces so yeah, that's what it looks like okay so apologies for the blurriness of this video of this clip right here but this is how you feed in the boho curls for the braids to give it that full look that you need so you want to start feeding in the boho curls right from the beginning so yeah I'm just putting mousse on my hair I don't know I don't know I know a lot of people use um gummy wax or you know different things to braid your hair but I feel like my hair still looks really good just using um hair grease and mousse at some point I was even using some of my curling cream so that is the expression braiding hair that you would take you would then you know start off your not less using the expression braiding hair and then immediately you would feed in the boho curls and then you braid then put in some expression braiding hair again then you put in the boho curls leave that out put in maybe the third piece of the expression braid in here and then you braid that in then put in boho curls and then that's how you achieve you know that full look and yeah this is how you do it I guess you can just watch this clip you can mute me if you want to <laughs> but yeah you just watch this clip and then you know that's how you do the actual boho curls <laughs> Harrison was using some serious layers of encryption on this computer, but I was able to find a hidden partition filled with terabytes. Who is she? Her name's Abby Fisher. Any relation to Yes, she's the daughter of David Fisher, lead engineer of the Skeleton Key program. And check this out. She's enrolled in the same high school as Harrison. I just looked at the webcam. He breached the computer surreptitiously, launched her, and it gets worse. Yeah, for sale, email, texts, no, you got one of the three collections.
So here's how much expression hair I had left, which means you probably need at most two packs of expression for this hairstyle. I only had this much because I wanted to do, you know, two to one ratio of the 35 to 99J. And then this is how much, you know, was left of the curly boho braiding hair, which is like about half of a bundle left. So yeah, you see, you can style your hair in so many different ways. You know, the middle part, you can flip it over to the side, flip it over to the other side. You can do a half up, half down with this, you know, um, bow. I don't know why I decided to use a bow in this video. You could also, you know, put like a nice um, flower hair clip on the side, have it as a side part. I mean, this would definitely look cute if you're on holiday and, you know, you had a bikini on. You know that um, cute little beads um, top a lot of people have been wearing that's trending at the moment? This will look really cute, you know, with that um, get up, with that outfit, with that outfit, that would look cute. So yeah, this is the hairstyle. This is the final look. I'm just showing you a couple of different ways I would style it. I think my my all-time favorite is always just me doing the middle part down. And I think this is a hack for, especially if you wear glasses. When I do braids and I put my glasses on and I've got that middle part, I hate the way the glasses just, I mean, I hate the way the hair falls over my glasses. So I think this is actually a really good hack to braid some side cameras in the sides and you can still you know style your hair in any kind of different way you want and I think it's actually a lot better than flip over filling any braids so yeah you know you can do half up half down have you know the two coming down at the front you know put the bow in you can also put you know a clip a hair clip right at the top just to keep the hair away from your face if that's what you prefer so I think yeah this is actually a really this is actually the versatile for any braids you know not the other one with the cameras in the middle this is actually a hairstyle that would suit anyone because I don't know when I did that for any boho braids I never had my hair down in the middle I just hated the way there was that v in the middle but yeah anyway I hope you've um enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you've gotten to this part of the video you're a real one thank you so much for watching I hope it's been useful. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite way to style this hairstyle. Hope you'll be trying it as well. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you like this video, leave a comment, and also subscribe to my channel because you know a lot of you are watching me not subscribing. So, yeah, subscribe. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you again later. Thank you. Bye.